Hi dear friends and viewers. Welcome back to our channel Anunay Kumar Basics of Physics. This is the right place to learn physics. Dear friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the one of the most 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 important question in the chapter of thermodynamics. That is the relation between two specific heats of a gas or derivation of Cp minus Cv is equal to R. So the children is a very important. If you want to get the complete information about this question, you have to watch the video up to last without any skip. Okay. Now let's the point. The question what is of here relation between two specific heats of a gas or derivation of Cp minus Cv is equal to R. So already we discussed in the previous video what is specific heat and what is the specific heat at constant pressure. What is mean by Cp here? Specific heat at constant pressure. That should be how we can write Cp is equals to 1 by n of dq by dt. So if we can write n that is the molar specific heat. So okay, order maybe it is molar specific heat. If you can write M, it is the specific heat. Similarly here now, what do write? Cv. Cv is what? Molar specific heat at constant volume. At constant volume. Cv is equal to 1 by N of dq by dt. dq by dt. So children, now we have to derive the equation like this, Cp minus Cv is equal to R. Clear? By using the first law of thermodynamics, dQ is equal to du plus dW. Clear? So that is the equation for first law of thermodynamics. By using that, we have to find out the relation between Cp and Cv. Okay? Now let's go for that children. Here, first we have to find out the how much work is done in a container when we applied some force or we have created some pressure. Let's see that. Dear friends, we are taking now it is a container. Okay. That should be having some mobile piston. It is a piston. So, in that sum, n, n moles of gas, n moles of ideal gas is there. Ideal gas. Clear. We are taking one container. In that, what is there? n moles of ideal gas is there. Okay. And now, here simply, this is the piston. We are applying some force and we want to displace the piston from this much of displacement that is dx clear we are taking one container that should be having a number of moles of ideal gas and now we have to move the piston by the displacement of dx then amount of work done amount of work done on the gas work done on the gas what right dw is equals to f into dx okay children when we apply some force clear some pressure will be created on particular area from that what write f is equals to p into a p into a we can write now you can substitute here what it is dw is equals to f into dx then you have to substitute the value of f what is the f value there P into A into S dx. Here children, A into dx can be taken as change in volume. Change in volume. That's why you can write dW is equals to P into dV. This is the amount of work done on the gas when it is most efficient down. If the piston is going up, what have to say? The work is done by the gas, we have to say. Clear? dW is equals to P dV. So let us check here a into dx is dv change in volume or not what is a area its unit is what meter square and what is dx nothing but displacement 
and what did you see rates as meter so a into dx means what meter square into meter that is what meter cube so meter cube is the what unit of volume that's why a into dx we can write simply what it is children as like volume change in volume you write so this is the equation number one children so dear students now we have to apply the first law of thermodynamics at constant volume at constant volume so at constant volume what we can write dqv first law of the dqv is equals to du plus dw what is dw pdv so therefore dqv is equals to du plus pdv so children here what is we are saying at constant volume at constant volume change in volume is zero therefore what right dqv is equals to du plus p of zero then what you get dq of v is equals to du children clear so after that here from the definition of from the definition of molar specific heat what right children cv is equals to 1 by n of dq by dt at constant volume so i am going to here like this then dqv is equals to what n cv dt multiplication n into cv into dt as yes, dqv is what n cv dt so dqv is what here du and here dq is what n cv dt for example it is equation number 2 and this is equation number 3 children from that 2 and 3 what we write we can write what we can write here lhs is dqv here also lhs is dqv both are same that's what right du is equals to n cv dt so this is you have to remember what is du change in internal energy that is equation number 4 clear children so after that we have to apply the same first law of thermodynamics at constant pressure first law of thermodynamics at constant pressure what is the children dqp is equal to what du plus dw dw so at constant pressure some work will be there that's why we can continue the same equation dqp is equal to what is du value ncv dt plus What is the value of PDV? PDV. Clear. So now, children, from the definition of specific heat, specific heat or molar specific heat, molar specific heat, molar specific heat, we can write Cp is equals to one by n of dqp by dt from that what are the children dqp is equal to what n cp dt so n cp dt now substitute this value here then what are the children dqp means what n cp dt therefore what do you write n cp dt is equal to n cv dt plus pdv This is the equation number five, children. Here, children, we need some space. That's why here I'm going to erase this one. That's why if you want to write the notes, just pause the video and copy the notes. Okay. Okay. Now, continuation. We can go for the continuation. So, children, what we consider initially, ideal gas is enclosed in the container. Ideal gas is enclosed in the container that's why here we know the ideal gas equation ideal gas equation what it is pv is equals to nrt pv is equals to nrt so here already what you are saying we are applying the first concentration at constant pressure what is first law of thermodynamics First law of thermodynamics is at constant pressure. So here, pressure is constant. 
already what is n? n is the number of moles is constant or is the universal gas constant? Clear? That's why there is change occurred in only volume and temperature. Volume and temperature. That's why PDV is equal to nRT in our dt. What for our children? PV is equal to nRT. What is P? Pressure. We are applying the first law of thermodynamics at constant pressure. That's why what rate PV is equal to nRT in that P is constant, N is constant, R is constant. The variable things are what? Volume and temperature only. That's why what rate PDV is equal to N or dt we can write. Now substitute this value in equation number 5 children. So substitute above equation. Substitute the above equation in equation number 5. So what is NCP dt? NCP dt is equal to NCV dt plus PDV. What is the value of PDV here? NR dt. What is NR dt? Clear children. So simply what right? This is one is NR dt. Now children, our LHS, RHS, what is common? N dt is common. CB is equal to, is equal to what? N dt of CV plus R. N dt, N dt, fancy. Then what it is? CP is equal to CV plus R. Or CP minus CV is equal to R children. So this is the relation between specific heat at constant project to the specific heat at constant volume. So very important children. So just pause the video and copy the notes. I think it's helpful for you. Okay children, if you can understand this one, like, share, comment the video. So dear students, request is my from my side. You have to suggest our channel to your friends who need it and suggest them to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.